Not as bad as people say it is. All right. Still a shitty game. Sorry, this in three, two, one. And we're alive! Hello! Hello there, everybody. Every little stinky... G no, I'm just kidding. Um, wow, I need to turn to my TV so that way I can actually view the game properly. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable, of course. I'll Hello, to... everybody. Welcome to some yoka lele. Yeah, welcome Make to it some sound like yo. <laughs> Like yeah, look, no, no, look, 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 the person's name is Yoka, and they laid Lee. <laughs> laid Lee. I don't. <laughs> I <Okay>. don't. <laughs> I just don't. I don't no, no. So, how are you, uh, how are you playing this game? It's on the PC, I would assume? No, I actually got the digital release on console, on the, on the Xbox One. Oh, uh, you got it on the, you got it on the Xbox, okay. Xbox, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why you would get it on literally the shittiest console of the eighth gener of the seventh generation. No, eighth. I was correct the first time. But yeah. The shittiest. Con okay. Let's let's yes. Let's not. Yeah, let's not. Yeah, the Wii U was better. Fuck all of you guys. <laughs> all five of you. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're funny. <laughs> the Wii U. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Dude, I miss so I'm I'm fucking surprised. Like. Personally, I've actually played the Wii U a shit ton times more than the fucking Xbox One. I've only turned on my Xbox like four times in my history of owning it. It's because you're a Nintendo fanboy. <laughs> it's because Nintendo actually has games! Oh, you just ride Nintendo's game. Fuck oh, no. Are you, you riding have Nintendo's you fucking, dick? Bro? Have you played Yoshi's Woolly World? That shit is dope as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what are we watching here? What are we watching here? Everything has been prepared to your Oh, look, it's that guy from Despicable Me. <laughs> <laughs> it actually reminds of a lot of him. What the fuck is this Igor of Despicable Me ripoff? <laughs> I did not even think about that. <laughs> Holy shit, the brows. Yeah, those brows. It's like it's like Dr. Cortex had sex with Despicable Me's dude <laughs> and fucking shat this love child out. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Look, they even have a gold statue of him. Not even fucking gold, it's probably hollow as fuck. It's not solid gold. He likes to BDS on a duck. Vice <laughs> President. That's the Vice President statue, sir. That's not even how you spell. Listen, Doctor. I don't care if you're a duck head in a gumball machine. When I put a quarter in there, give me a fucking candy. I don't know. I hate my life now. <laughs> I'm surprised that they actually kept this uh, very close to um, Banjo Kazooie styled like conversations. Oh, I just saw some weird ass shadow rendering. If you look under the dude's cape, you'll yeah. see like some. Yeah, the shadow rendering in the Z axis fighting. Oh, God. <laughs> it, 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 it irks me because I see it all the time when I build my own games in Unity. Oh man. Yeah. Dude, what the fuck? Shadow effects. Come on, Xbox. You're supposed to be powerful. That's my Xbox control, bro. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We're talking about lunchtime. What I want to know is how the fuck is it moving half the stuff on its body when it's literally only a head? Good question. <laughs> okay, what is it? Sucking words out of books? We are the librarian absorbers. Yeah, it's All weird. Right. So, by the way, any new comments? Yeah, so we have a couple people in the chat joining us today. Storm934 says hi. Uh, Jack Van Gerbil also says hi. And Cherish Haven says hello, how's it going? Just a couple of people trying to uh, get introduced into the fucking chat right now. We're still rounding people up. Uh, six people watching right now, including ourselves, and uh, so not too much, not too much traffic right now. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna, you know, build up over time. Yeah. I mean, if people can actually share on their Facebooks or Twitters or whatever websites you have an account on and share this live stream, it would be appreciated. 
Um, I have planned to do this live stream uh, as soon as the game came out. I mean, people who backed the project got it a day early than the the rest of the the rest of the world. So um, yeah, I was planning to do that, but the pipe was getting drained out of me. And I didn't do it at the end, until now, where I've actually decided to pretty much do it. I've actually invited uh, people on my, on my, uh, you know how I keep most of my school friends on my Discord? I just, yeah. like, add, I add everyone there for the, for the link, told them I was still commentating. That'd be a good way to check out the ukulele and see how it goes. The modeling is superb in this game. Yeah. Yeah, the modeling is pretty neat. Uh, in yeah, this dude, game. those visuals are really good. But also, if there's a lot of flaw of flaws in with video games recently, it's mostly the f the fans, like the people who who talk about the game. I, I personally, I played a little bit of ukulele, and I do not think it's bad at all. I mean, it uh, people are used to different types of uh, platformers and what I really liked about this game is that it's kinda stays true to what Banjo-Kazooie Banjo was. And as a company that tried to do a spiritual successor which the leftovers of uh, what's their name uh, rare they did a pretty good a pretty good job on doing on doing so yeah yeah also I want to talk about the snake character because it's disturbing me like fuck right now <laughs> like how the, who who conceived this piece of shit <laughs> I have a feeling that this is gonna be the first character I have a problem with. <laughs> he's like my uh, he's like money bags, but let's say this. You know money bags from Spyro, he's somewhat like that. Yeah. It, it's his design that irks me. I don't know why, but his design is fucking adorable to me. What? His design his what? His design is adorable. Damn, he's a scaly confirmed. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it looks adorable. <laughs> he's also he has he... two legs. It doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know, but it looks adorable to me. Okay, let's see. Then why don't you ask him for his tentacle number? I love God. everything about this game. It's just like it's so. It it's so N64. <laughs> it's so okay. So it has that like mid. It has that like uh, that in the middle of the uh, the fifth and sixth gen consoles feel, where like you have a nice, large, colorful play uh, playground to r run around in when you first enter the game, and yeah. like you want to just check shit out and look for collectibles and stuff like that. Like th that's when those tropes were like used a lot back in like the late '90s, early 2000s, like. Spyro did a lot of that shit. Um, and there were a bunch of other PS2 games that did this exact same shit. Star Fox Adventures uh, went into that. That's why, that's why I continue comparing Oh my Star god, Fox Star Adventures. Fox Adventures was great. I fucking loved it. Oh no, it's a fantastic game. But as a Star Fox fan, I have to have a problem with it. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, just like all the other ones. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, look, the game is good. I told you that. But like... Nintendo, what the fuck? Just make it Dinosaur Planet. Where the fuck did all these dinosaurs come from? Does that cannon have a face on it? <laughs> that cannon has a face on it. Yes, yeah, like Conker. Uh, what the fuck? It just turned into Bastion. <laughs> it turned into Bastion. Somehow every game is compared to Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, like right now you're a May. You have something strapped to your back that can help. <laughs> really? Yeah. You freeze people by fucking talking to them. <laughs> I just imagine fucking Yuka going like, freeze, don't move. 
God, you're fucking disgusting. Oh, wait, wait. Can you actually swim? Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, you, you can. can. That's so weird. Wait, go back in the water again? Alright. Oh, well, look, another company that doesn't know how to fucking render swimmable water. Okay, never mind. I, I shouldn't bash them. That water is actually pretty legit. Alright. Here. So they have a lot of foliage rendering around here. Even on the Xbox One, this is really good. Holy shit. You got a lot of stuff. Wait, does it move when you go into it? Do they have a... Um, do they have collision detection? Like, go uh, into a bush? Go into a bush? I just um, want to see the tech. You gotta go into a bush. No, it does not move or anything. Does. Yeah, I don't think it does. Uh, no. Try going into a real bush and land. Like, let me, let me see. Nope. Yeah, go through that fern. That fern on the right. It does nothing. Wait, no, it, also, these uh, objects of the bushes are pretty solid. A lot of them are solid. Fuck, man. By the way, the the ships uh, the the stream is delayed for me a little bit. So yeah, the you. live stream will be delayed a little bit. By the way, any new comments? Yes, uh, we have one from Storm Nine Three Four that says the ship is called Batship Crazy, which yeah. uh, is a good pun on what we all know and love. Other than that, uh, we have seven people watching right now. Uh, we had eight like five minutes, and then we went down to seven for some reason. So, I don't know. In reality, we have like four people watching us. Oh no, wait, we got five people now. Eight, eight watchers now. So we're back on the uh, ukulele. You're just kind of running around on the grass being a little shit. <laughs> uh, all right, so what do you have to do right now? I totally forgot what we were doing. Uh, pretty much we're doing little tutorial. What we were doing was somewhat like kind of a tutorial. Um, even though there's more uh to do oh uh, by the way uh welcome to the stream lfc gamer glad to have you here oh hello ukulele. kfc gaming um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. i remember calling him that all the damn time you know, like kfc gamer or some shit like that he's, he's louisiana chicken real i love how the people who usually show up for the streams are the ones who show up for this stream Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Oh, a game that had no the, a game that knows how to actually have aesthetic. Holy shit. That I'll give them one thing. They're really good on their aesthetic. Holy crap. I don't know why, but I, I think of Skylanders when I see those things. <laughs> It's literally Skylanders. This game is Skylanders. Fucking rip. There's nothing to compare between Skylanders and this. Really. You, you, you sure about that? Yes, I'm Same. pretty sure about that. Yeah. LFC Gamer says I'm a bit partial to, uh... I'm, I'm partial to a bit of KFC right now, huh? <laughs> Lol. You know, what, you know what's funny? I've never ate KFC since KFC does not exist in Israel. I had a chance Dude, to eat KFC in uh, Prague, but I didn't. Oh look, it's the enemy. End the game, Danny. Just end it all for us. Make it what? the final solution. What? <laughs> Anime? The, the, the enemy is in that fucking tower. You need to go in there and end it. End oh, it all, I man. heard anime. Like a end the game. End the game, Danny. End the game. Just just fucking make it the final solution. End it all for us. Just end the stream right now. Save okay. us a bit of trouble. Okay, bye. Go cry. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Go cry. Fucking jumps into the acid. I hate my mom. <laughs> enemy, Dad. I'm rebelling against you. Oh wait, you could actually go in there? What the fuck? That's so cheesy! Jack Van Gerbil says... Oh my god, that fucking low... low-res fucking... The hallway? No, like, I'm when I'm right now talking to the snake, and I'm looking at the wall behind him, and it's so low-res. What, the texture? Yeah. yeah, the texture is so low-res. Yeah, they, they gotta do that for some... for some consoles. I mean, if you think about it, if that particular texture is derezzed. imagine the rest of the textures you're looking at because you're seeing it from a distance. Yeah. Uh, Jack, Jack Van Dribble says, I'm interested in how you guys would corrupt my username. <laughs> well, Jack Van Dribble, it's quite easy to do. As you can see, 
All I have to do is unbuckle this belt, unzip my pants, drop them, <laughs> and squat. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, after squatting, I have to push really hard, and something brown will fall out and make you. Make Ew, you fucking nasty <laughs> bitch. <laughs> And now your name will be Jack Bucks Gerbil. You know, you, you know that's called organically corruption, uh, organic corruption. But what the fuck now... are you on about? What the? Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I am seriously confused. Okay, Danny, we'll meet you at the riverbank while reading a book. <laughs> <laughs> you were. <laughs> what? What the fuck? I'll be sure to comment about how the wind is doing that day. <laughs> You're such Blast a dumbass. Blast epically out into the yonder. <laughs> Stor Storm934 says, thoughts on the insane trilogy? Ah! Fuck. Shit. That, that's <laughs> our thoughts. Ah! <laughs> so, that, that's, that's our thoughts about insane trilogy. We, to be we, honest, we just I'm not that excited. Because what? They, they, they just... Like, with, it's Crash Bandicoot with improved graphics. I don't understand what's the, all the hype about. If it's gonna bring Crash Bandicoot back on its feet, then sure. I, I mean, like, my big concern is that Naughty Dog was like, here's the level structure. Go do stuff with it, Vicarious Visions. Is it Vicarious Visions that, that, that own them right now? I have no idea. I think, yeah, I think it is Vicarious Visions. Uh, Jack Van Dribble says, you're turning my name into manure. <laughs> <laughs> Cherish Haven says, I was planning to get Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy, but I don't have a PS4 system. LFC Gamer goes, I'm hyped as fuck about Insane Trilogy. Well, that's good for you, seeing as how we know a certain somebody who is uh, currently denying getting that game. <laughs> And uh, we we need you. There's a link. There's a there's a name up in the top of the chat <laughs> of a founda of a certain foundation that you should support. Vocally. Certain foundation. And, and, and if you would like to make <laughs> if you would like to make your voice heard, please search up Crash Legend 25, who is now Voice Legend 25, and tell <laughs> and, and tell and him his please. His actual just, original name is Wrong Legend 25. <laughs> and just and just send him a YouTube message or comment on all his videos saying, please just buy the goddamn Ensign Trilogy. Ensign Trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> and your efforts will not go to waste, I swear. Like, you'll receive a basket full of flowers and pictures of the person you're trying to save. How oh, can you not think that this snake model is fucking adorable? It, it, it's disturbing. It's you have adorable. a snake going both fucking pant legs. <laughs> and a phone in between him. <laughs> and that phone is a brick. <laughs> he should be having a bulge in it's either like, it's front like Tommy or back. It's like Tommy's, uh, Tommy Versetti's phone from GTA Vice City. <laughs> uh, don't bring up GTA again. I remember when you were in your GTA phase, nothing could save you at that point. You were just way too deep into the asshole of this GTA. So, um, uh, LFC Gamer says, who cares? Crash is back, bitches. And Reyna Watch says, this game is really quite fun. Uh, yeah. Storm nine four. This is Storm nine three four says uh, he won't buy the game yet. He'll dub every single Damn. video. Damn. He what? He won't he... buy the game yet. He will dub every single gameplay video. How does it. he know? What? <laughs> Storm, how do you know? Who are you? Identify yourself. Wait, is saying that Victor would do such thing? Yeah. No, that is so the true. Does do it. What the fuck? <laughs> No, he knows who Victor is. I don't. Wow. Wow. You who know who you? Wrong Legend 25 is? <laughs> oh my God. LFC Gamer says, "Remember Ratchet 5's video on Insane? That." Oh my God, lot. that was fucking. What? Oh, that wrestled a lot of Jimmy's. What? <laughs> Russell, <laughs> I wanted to say Jimmy's. I, he said feathers, and I was like kind of disappointed that he didn't say Jimmy's, because that's my thing. <laughs> Storm934 says that I'm subscribed to Voice Legend 25. Boys Legend 25? <laughs> boys? Oh. Fucking Boys Legend 25. LFC fuck Gamer even... says that he's subscribed to Victor 2. Well, you guys should comment yeah, on all of his videos. You should get Insane Trilogy. Absolutely. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's 12 you say people. Nice 12, 12 people. We have 12 people watching right now. Hey guys, uh, Alex has joined us in the chat saying, "How's ukulele so far?" Uh, it's fucking shit. <laughs> Uh, Jack Van Dribble says, everybody here knows who Victor is. Oh, boy. Uh, that, that, that's, hey, guys, that's very good news. See, if you, if, you, if you write a very special message to Voice Legend 25's channel, you'll, you'll receive a special edition Crash and Saint Trilogy signed and, uh, signed and fucking printed out by the actual team of Naughty Dog and Vicarious Visions. And uh, you will also receive a valuable, authentic Victor Legend 25 coin. Uh, point. <laughs> Receive it in the mail. By the way, has anybody besides me actually backed this project? Of you completely? Ask that. Reina Watts says, if the Insane Trilogy appears on Xbox One, then I'll pick it up. I love how it's not even exclusive to PlayStation anymore. It's like going to console to consoles like Xbox. I thought it was PlayStation exclusive. I don't know. There, there's been people fighting over that, saying that it's PlayStation exclusive, and other people are like, no, it's not. I could look up the Wikipedia. But I do, I do think it is PlayStation exclusive. Uh, according to Wikipedia, it says that PlayStation 4 is a PlayStation... Uh, I'm sorry, PlayStation 4 is a PlayStation exclusive. <laughs> um, Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy is a PlayStation exclusive, and that would make sense. So. Because, because the thing is that Crash Bandicoot was a fucking... It started out on PlayStation, and all the games that are getting remastered and remade are the PlayStation exclusive games. So it would make sense for them to continue staying on PlayStation only. So the chances of it being on Xbox One are slim to none. So uh, good luck, Reyna. Uh, Alex says, I'll probably get Insane Trilogy because my dad loves Crash Bandicoot. That's awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. Parents who love video games are fucking My cool parents shit. think that video games are a waste of time. Dude, I remember my fucking... My... my, my my mom wouldn't care, but my dad would be completely against video games. And, like, it took yeah. me years to convince him that I was actually, like, professionally into it. And, and like, it, it took me a while to fucking convince him otherwise. Uh, Pro Jack fan says, Crash for Smash. Uh, Storm934 replies with, Crash for Smash. Raina Watt says, if depends on Activision, have as have it as a PS4 only, or if they'll release it on other systems at some point. Yeah. LFC Gamer says, my oh, love... Like, my... Exclusive? Uh, I mean, like, she's, she's like, kind of, like, hoping that uh, Xbox One gets it, because Activision is a little chink, a little fucking choppy on the release. <laughs> um, Projack Fan says, reboot reboot if Insane Trilogy sells well. Hopefully no Titans and Warp platform, Warp Rooms. Uh, Jack Van Dribble says, my parents made me play video games. Reina Watt says, uh, not likely to buy a PS4 at this time. There's only Horizon that interests me on that system. Well, you I will know, tell you You right know now. what's funny? I, I'm, I'm, well, not, not something funny, but like, I do plan to do giveaways at a certain point. And I might be doing a PlayStation 4 giveaway. But that's if my channel gets a little bit bigger than it is. Because yeah, for yeah. now, I don't think that financially I can, you know, do this. Maybe I will be doing like a prize for like, I don't know, multiple people. But as I said, this is depending on how successful my channel will be in the future. Yeah. Mm, I'm tasty with butterfly energy. Eat me to replenish your health. This is what another game thing is. It's it's like a mixture of Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, and all this shit. But that fucking description of how to eat a butterfly, a butterfly saying, mm, "I'm full of energy, eat me." That's some fucking vor <laughs> shit right there. Yeah, you know that's that's Conker's bad for a day in a nutshell. Also, I want to tell you about all the Cubones you're abusing right now and how fucking sad they are that their mother's dead. What? <laughs> he didn't get it. He didn't. He didn't get. He doesn't play Pokemon. Yeah, you're talking to a person that doesn't really like Pokemon. 
Here we here we go. We got um. <coughs> Cherish Haven says my mom tells me to my mom tells me to play video games. Alex says I'm also looking to get a Switch bundle since the game library is increasing. Do it. Uh, but make sure the bus make sure the bundle has actually good games that you know you're gonna play. Um, because so far I have like selected handpicked games that I know I'm gonna play on the bus and shit. Uh, mom. Uh, my mom only likes Mario Crash and Spyro. She hates every other video game, says LFC Gamer. Uh, Raina Watt says, I mean, those are actually decent franchises. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Raina Watt says, my dad doesn't understand Shit. video games much. He just is Farmville. My mom is fine with my gaming and understands yeah, that it helps. The people the fucking play Candy Crush Saga. <laughs> Cherish Haven says, I'm buying a PS4 instead of a Switch. Um, okay, cool. I mean, Blade I would is just offended. recommend you. <laughs> no, no, no. I, no, I mean, like, do do research. I mean, because, like, whenever you're going to invest in a new console, you're going to want to know where your $300, $300 are going. So really think about it before you make a $300 purchase. Projack fan says, remember Spirit Wolf, Dan? I think yeah. he's talking about that car. Oh, wait, no, that. that uh, oh, you know who Spirit Wolf is. It's Reyna, isn't it? Nah. It's not. Nah. Yeah, I remember who she is. Gone. I didn't. I can't remember her fucking name. She was Victor's friend. She was Victor's friend. I can't remember her name. <laughs> no, nah, but um, uh, Jack Van, Der, uh, Jack Van Dribble says, uh, by the way, Danny, mm. why do you go by Dingo now instead of Dingo Crash? Are you also a regular Dingo or Dingo Dial? Hello. <laughs> No, I just, um, because, uh, I know, well, I like this username a lot better than what my username used to be, which was Crash Bandy Spar 12, then, you know, people used to call me Bandy, and you fucking, oh my god, I fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, Danny, I think he's talking about, like, uh, actually, no, I'll just go ahead and answer. Dingo is just easy to refer to. Dingo Crash yeah. kind of just yeah. stretching it at the point, so Dingo kind of gets the point across already. Yeah. Uh, LFC Gamer says the Switch doesn't interest me one bit. Uh, cool. I mean, that's what PS4 is for, so. Pro Jack Fan says carpet equals Laylee. <laughs> <laughs> Carpet Lily. Also, if there is something I s if there is a bug that I've noticed that once there is a shadow over them, their the red color and pink color go gray. If you can see it oh, right let me now. See. Like right now uh, I'm in the uh, shadow and when I go to the sun it the colors are back. Oh my god, that's it's using monochrome. It's probably it's possible that um what? Actually, it's, it's possible. It's possible that it could be an in-engine issue. Hopefully, because that doesn't seem like it's a model issue. Ooh, what's over oh, here? Oh no, no, no! You know why? Is Yuka is Yuka supposed to be an iguana? Uh, yeah. That's why she's probably like adapting her to her environment. They can camouflage, albeit lightly, but they can camouflage. So, like, if you're near monochromatic areas. No, but look at Laylee. She, her, her wings and everything are turning gray too. Oh, then I don't know. Even her nose, which is supposed to be red. Yeah, but it doesn't like. I mean, it is cartoony. So what if uh, you could help Laylee with that and camouflaging too? Well, I mean, check check this out. I mean, check this out. Why would they include a feature that lets them adapt to shadows? That wouldn't that take up unneeded space on the engine? Wouldn't that take up unneeded rendering? That's the processing power they could use for something else. So I do think it's a glitch. I mean, not a glitch, but like just a rendering issue, probably. Yeah. They'll probably fix it in the next update. Oh, I probably don't have the powers to do to use these things. Um. <clears throat> This is also one of these games where you have to uh, get certain power-ups in order to, you know, get win. to certain places. Yeah. Uh, Storm ninety uh, Storm nine three four says Yuka's a boy. Jack Van Dribble says carpet, a ratchet and carpet. <laughs> what? I don't understand the carpet reference. and clank. No, there was a period of time whenever I would do the live stream, they would talk about carpets and shit like that. It was fucking weird. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, your live streams are pretty weird. LFC Gamer says this game makes me want to play some Banjo Kazooie, except my except stupid me sold my N64 a while ago. Dude, that fucking sucks, man. I still you have should my kill N64. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I still have life. I, I still I still need to play a little bit more on my 64 disc drive because I haven't given that thing I haven't given that thing like the time of day in a while. Ah, fucky fuck fuck, fuck. Uh, f <laughs> fucky fuck fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Do you remember um, playing fucking Torok for the fucking N64? Dude, Torok was badass. Great. We had a weird what version of Doom. I think Doom 64 was Doom 2. Doom 64 was kind of... Mm, I don't know. I mean, it was a shitty port of Doom 2, I think. Uh, Reyna Watt says you can get Banjo Kazooie one, two, and three on on live and in the rare replay pack on Xbox One. Yes, you can. And... Yes, you can. Yes. Um... Hmm. Love it for that. I love how the music Pro... changes just like it did in Banjo Kazooie. Uh, Pro Jack fan says I miss these streams. LFC gamer says the only the problem is I don't I? have an Xbox One either. Wait until it goes on sale. Always wait until the holidays kick in, and then you could get it for really oh, cheap. Oh, and here, you, the, it, once you go to these, like, bushes, they will be moving. And also, there's a little slowdown that once you hit it, like, <laughs> it slows down. Hit it, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! Hit it, Joe! Okay. What the fuck was that stupid music that was playing in there? Uh, Jack Van Dribble says, I remember an old video. Uh, oh, okay, somebody so said something about the wrath of carpets. <laughs> the wrath of carpets. Uh, Cherish Shaven. Cherish Shaven says, <laughs> I need to get Shaven? the PS2. Cherish Shaven? Her fucking name is spelled like that. Uh, it says, I need to get my PS2 back because I want to play a Sly Cooper. Bruh. Hell yeah. I need to play Sly Cooper. Already. Dude, I I've wonder been... when the fucking Sly Cooper movie comes out. God damn it! Yeah, that's taken a while. Yeah, they haven't spoke on that in forever, huh? Reno Watt says you need to expand that. Oh my world god! To I fucking found Roadhog. Wait, what? Well, really? <laughs> it's, it's a it's a pigu. Uh, Reno Watt oh my says god! It actually PSG, looks like it has a hook. <laughs> <laughs> Om nom nom, good day to- wow, he, he's so stereotypical. <laughs> they, they don't even subtly put, they just put straight up om nom nom. He's eating a fucking candy cane, you can't eat that, you suck on it. <laughs> wow, it's that like, is rude as fuck. That is rude as fuck. What? <laughs> Hamlot. Stops a lot, really? Sir scoffs a lot. Listen here, bitch. Anybody who eats a fucking candy cane and doesn't suck it clearly is a menace to society. <laughs> Piece of shit. If you're not sucking a candy cane, you're not doing it right. <laughs> Bro, if you're not fucking holding that shit like a like an Italian man holding a toothpick in his mouth, you ain't doing it right. <laughs> Uh, the chat is currently having. Oh, Sandra's joined us. Sandra has. Joined hey, Sandrita. Us. We uh we have currently thirteen people in the stream, including us. And um, Sandra says, "Cool." Sandra's just entered the freaking thing. Um. And uh, Renawa and a couple of the other people are currently talking about uh, where to get retro games on. Uh, um. Since I'm a collector, you guys already seen my collection of uh, retro-related stuff. What the fuck? It does! It does have it! Go through those stores yeah, again. It does have the collisions. So it's only partial. Okay, yeah. that, that that makes sense. That, that actually oh, there's sense. a I ghost mean, I, in here. You're a ghost. I thought they'd Assassin's Creed it, where like you'd have thick bushes and you could wallow around in them, but apparently you only have collision detection for the fucking ferns. That sucks ass. Yeah, LFC Gaming, you're not awkward. It's just that some things feel better on other systems than they do on Bruh. the ones that they recently I'd come much, much rather play Mario Kart 64 on the N64. I'd, I'd much, 
much rather play that. Like, fuck it on PC, right? It does nothing. The, the frame rate isn't helped on the emulator. Right? And it, it's just... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just <not> you. <laughs> Sorry, I sneezed. Man, that makes me want to get all these fucking old ass games again. So the ukulele is coming on Switch soon, ish. Or is it already out? Well, like in. No, like ukulele coming on the Switch. Uh, August or some shit. Yeah, probably in August. Ukulele Switch. Let me see. I don't think that they will be added adding it to the Switch. Dude, ukulele was made in Unity. I didn't know that. So I can do all this shit in Unity. That's awesome. Yep. Okay, the pages uh was torn into pieces. Did Did Banjo uh no, I think I, I can't remember because it's been fucking years. But Banjo Kazooie did didn't have a history of uh, breaking the fourth wall. I think it might have did. I'm not too sure. Because nuts and bolts, I know for sure did with fucking modern game jokes, and ukulele just made one. When you look at the page. <coughs> Third pagey piece. Pagey. Yeah, pagey. <laughs> Yay, there we go. Finally found the pagey piece. It's like there's a lot to do in here. Like, wait. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh wow, I don't know why I'm sneezing a lot. Probably because I slept with my shirt off. Ugh. Okay, so here's a question I have for everybody. What is a game that you played? Because I know everybody's done this as a kid that you played and you got so pissed off at it that you are like, I'm gonna beat this fucking game and never play it again. But god damn it, when I beat it, I'm gonna be so relieved and just yell at the top of my goddamn lungs. Dude, for me, whenever I would lose, whenever I would screw up in video <laughs> games. When I was younger, I would bite the controller. <laughs> I would seriously bite the controller. I had my PlayStation 1 controller, had so many biting marks on it, it's ridiculous. Uh, as, as a kid for me, I would just be like, yo, this game is pissing me off. And it's just making me more determined to beat it. For me, I would just get pissed off even more. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm gonna be racing a cloud right now. That cloud is wearing a helmet. <clears throat> like my, and it my says 64 on it. <laughs> my demon would be uh, the Spider-Man X-Men game, Arcade's Revenge. For the SNES, that game is fucking... Uh... We're getting some replies in the chat to your question. Um, Jack, Jack Van Gerbil says, The first time I raged was at Sunset Vista in Crash 1. Uh, Reyna Watts says, It took me 18 years to complete R-Type 1. I've been gaming for around 33 years. Fuck! Damn. 33 years, holy shit. At least that's what it says. I'm not sure the context of that, but... Uh... Uh, Alex says, I would get angry and try to grip the controller to try to break it. Oh, no, no, I can't break my stuff, no. It costs way too much money. <laughs> For angry gamers, that's not too much. I remember one time I got it pissed off because of my headset was not working properly. And I would just... <clears throat> I would just... I just threw the headset against the wall. <laughs> no. Uh uh. Dude, I got so pissed off. I was like, this piece of shit fucking threw it against the wall. <laughs> I, like, I got so mad. 
It's ridiculous. Alright. Hopefully this time I'm gonna fucking make it and not get stuck in the fucking wall. You, you will totally make it. No, I just fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Random Watts says, I've been gaming around, uh, I've been gaming since around 1984 or 85. Oh, you were in a really good period then. Oh, man. Cherish Haven says, uh, my rage quit level is Embalism in Crash Bash. Embalism. <laughs> uh, LFC Gamer says, probably Rayman on the PS1. Took me 15 years to beat it. I destroyed three controllers years. on. <laughs> on the way? <laughs> I I can I destroyed three controllers on Bandland and Space Mama. Holy shit. Raina Raina Watts says I first played R Type 1 around 1990 and completed it in 2008. What? Man, I would have those things. Like <clears throat> I I remember when I was young, um I couldn't beat Ocarina of Time for the stupidest of reasons. And then when I turned like around 13, 14, I finally beat the entire game. Because when you're what? young, when you're really young, it's really hard for you. Well, you don't focus too much. You're like, all right, let's fucking do this. And then you get angry and all this shit. Let's fucking fight people. <laughs> no, but you know what? I would play Mario Party like a boss. <laughs> Storm934 says Jack 3, the entire thing. Dude, my neck is killing me, boy. I think another thing that sucks is when you get older and you go back to a game that you were really good at, but then you just you then you them. just fucking suck like absolute it. dog shit. Yeah, and it's just like, what the fuck happened to my skills? Bruh, I remember I fucking played Mar Metroid Prime Three, and uh, a lot of the stuff was actually pretty challenging. Like overall, like the the whole. Uh, the whole. Do you remember the, the the second world? What was that world? The Sky World in uh, Metroid Prime Three. I forgot what that place was called. It was the giant El Elysia. That was the name of the planet. That entire planet pissed me off. Look, that the now the fucking thing is gonna shit them a pagey. <laughs> it just shat on them. <laughs> it just literally shat on them a pagey. Some of the things in this games are in this game are freaking creepy. It literally dropped the fuck. I made a joke about dropping a deuce earlier in this stream, and now it actually did it. <laughs> this, game, this game is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot yeah, of things but, uh, that you have to activate before uh, managing to get everything else because, like, there's a lot of power-ups that you can get in this game and you literally have to go through different worlds and stuff in order to learn all of these uh, things. But the I'd world for the... ukulele is pretty big. I'd love to see the game design document for this. What they were conceptualizing. Yeah, because it's pretty interesting to learn about a lot of companies, to be exact. Like, there's no, a lot no, of not the company, but like the game design document. Because like, the, the game design document is a document that that interprets every single part of the game, what the game is, how it does what it do, what it's going to do, and um, and how it how how it interacts with the player itself. And how the levels are laid out. Yeah. Like, literally, the antithesis of the game is explained in, like, a 30 to 100 page game design document. And, um... For this game, it seems like it seems to be around, like... Probably around fucking 60 pages. Yeah, I don't think that for this puzzle I can do anything yet. Yeah, so... Let's see. I don't know. For like, for Elite, for for Metroid Prime Three, Elysia was like a planet that just it pissed me off pa like passively the entire time I was there. I just hated it because you had to backtrack a fuck ton, right? 
And yeah. the entire time, all you're doing is going from the entire from one half of the, from one side of the map to the other side of the map. So you're just there traversing empty hallways full of regenerating enemies, and it, it was just piss. I hate it. It was just piss. <laughs> just piss. You know what's funny? The, the if you look at Alicia, the fucking atmospheric textures are all piss. Oh shit! It's just yellow. Uh, LFC Gamer says another game that uh, another game was Super Mario Sunshine. I love the game, but holy shit, that Pachinko level and Corona Mountain gave me the PS PTSD. LFC Gamer says the Sandbird and Watermelon Festival nearly put my head through a wall. Holy shit! You had a problem with the Sandbird, dude. The Sandbird was like, it was trippy. It wasn't. It, I, I wouldn't say it was hard when I played it. I would say it was trippy. Cause like you're sitting there listening to fucking <laughs> steel drum music, dude. We're in the clouds, like literally, you're the epitome of a dude in Jamaica getting high real quick. Dude, for <laughs> me, it's quite sad because for my childhood, I never grew up with the Nintendo, like, I never grew up in a Nintendo atmosphere like that. I, yeah, you I grew, grew up, up with Sony, didn't you? Yeah, I grew up with PlayStation, with Tekken. Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh... Dude, you were lucky. I, I couldn't even tell what the fuck first party games were. Like, I, I could only tell what a game was by face value. So, like, I would buy weird games hoping that they would be, like, awesome quality. But, like, you know, sometimes I was disappointed. That SpongeBob game was really good, though. Fuck. Like, the SpongeBob the Flying Dutchman. Holy shit. That was a good game. That was like the best SpongeBob game. Yeah, there's a lot of games that were the fucking shit back in the day. Uh, Cherish Haven says, uh, I, I got rage quit in Croc games because I kept dying, but I got 100%. <laughs> Raina, Raina Watt says, This is just the first world. There's something like five worlds for the game plus the hub world. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, things to do in this. <clears throat> She says you have to buy some skills from Trouser. LFC Gamer says, I've been playing Crocs since I was 6 and I still haven't 100%ed it. Storm yeah, three, I have never 100%ed Croc. I have the game, but it's just never. I was just never bothered to 100% the game. Yeah, I think my guilty pleasure game was Castlevania Curse of Darkness. I played the shit out of that fucking game. Uh, Alex says that Alex says I was r actually real wound well rounded when uh, b being brought up for consoles and video games. LFC Gamer says, uh, "Oh wait, no, I already read that." Uh, Storm nine three four says the relics in Crash Three piss me off, especially the motorcycle relics. Uh, Raina Watt, the OG, says the first console I played was the Atari Atari twenty six hundred. Yeah, that literally. Was you're playing the fucking like OG, like fucking commercially successful console. Dude, uh, I Jack wish Man I Triple had Set. that game. I mean, I wish I had that console. I've heard a lot of good things about those consoles and games. Uh, since I'm a collector, eventually I will be getting all these old ass consoles. I could just sell you mine. Like I have like I got three of them. Because of my brother, which was pretty awesome. My brother Israel with it. I have I have three Atari 2600s at my house. Why the fuck do you have three Atari 600s? <laughs> one of them broke. One of them broke, and the other two are eBay mishaps. Really? Yeah, like we bought one Atari 2600. We ended up getting two, and we even got a refund for it. What? Wow. Yeah, it was it was great. <laughs> that is the luckiest shit. Dude, that was my <laughs> lucky little bitch. I, I mean, like. Uh, Jack Van Dribble says, I grew up with Sony consoles as well. I did have a Game Boy Advance, though. See, that's what I fucking started out on. I started out on the Game Boy. Like, that was my first I shit. have... You know what's funny? I have never, ever in my life owned a Game Boy. Dude, the Game Boy Color is, like, the best. But if you want to play Pokemon ever at all, play Pokemon on the Game Boy. It's the best. Uh, Raina Watts says, I didn't play in a Nintendo system until around 9091. LFC Gamer says, my brother managed to get all the Platinum Relics on Crash 3. I've only managed to get a few. 
Yeah, getting platinum relics on uh, um, on Crash Bandicoot is tough. Raina Watt says the system I guess I have the fondest memories for gaming on would have to be the Genesis with three, with the Xbox 360 being the second. No. The Atari 2600 was rubbish. It was my first taste first taste of console gaming though. LFC Gamer says uh, the Good. console, the first console I played on was the NES, but the Mega Drive was the first system that was mine. My first, my first console ever wasn't even the PlayStation One. It was a bootleg of the NES, which was called the Megason. It was a bootleg of, a, of NES, and we, all, we only had uh, what was it? Uh, Dog Hunt. And fucking Super Mario Brothers. That's it. <laughs> Raina Watt says I had an original Game Boy of sorts and a Game Boy Color. Oh. And Color. I've still got a Game Boy Advance. I've still got a Game Boy Advance SP and a DS original cl clamshell version. Dude! I had the original Nintendo DS uh, blue. And it was, we called it the tank. And some kid in uh when i went to a recreation park uh back when i was a little kid and i got the ds some kid ripped off his in half and threw the the top screen into the wall wow. like a fucking bin there yeah. <laughs> yeah some people don't understand the value of consoles like that dude the ds was like what a hundred bucks Dude, over here, all of these consoles are fucking expensive. This is one of the reasons why I want to get the fuck out of Israel, because in Israel, um, literally, consoles are the most expensive shit in the world. That's weird, seeing as how we fucking, like, allow you and support you on every decision you make, unquestionably. Dude, I swear to God, like, this country sucks absolute fucking dog shit. Dude, I have no idea where am I supposed to go. Uh, cool porn has entered the chat. What's up, cool porn? Dude, what's up, cool bro? Cool porn. It's been great to see you again. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Wait, don't shift, don't shift your weight. Okay. <laughs> don't shift your weight. My feet are wet, but not, not fret. I won't drown by this corporate town. What? I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to find like, why am I? What the fuck am I supposed to do next? Because this is quite confusing. Like, there is no like any map that can guide you where you need, where you need to go in order to find whatever you need to find. I just realized that we never gave a link of the stream to our sky, uh, sky friends. <laughs> scat fetish. <laughs> <laughs> to our scat friends. <laughs> well, let me tell you about uh, this one video that Sam showed me. Oh, oh my god, no thank you. I think I'll pass. I, I, I seriously think that Sam is a fucking idiot when it comes to fetish porn. <laughs> god. Fuck. Um, it reminds cool me of says, those days whenever they were talking about Busty the Bunny and shit like that. <laughs> what what the fuck is- Oh, Busty the Bunny. Those days were the fucking best. Uh, cool Porn says, great to see you live streaming again. How many people are in the call? It's just us uh, three. It's just uh, me and the, the, the uh, Leon and the Mr. 1080p. <laughs> You don't have an identity. Watt says, I know you need to go. I know what you need to do for this level. Uh, I managed to beat the boss of the level earlier today. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, because this is. Uh, you know what? I haven't even gotten this far in this fucking game. So I'm. Like, not too sure what the fuck am I supposed to do. 
You know what I've noticed? There's a little shadow thing. Um, when you jump, your shadow is still rendering, but you have another shadow directly under you. But I think that's for state conveyance about where you're about to land. Yeah. Even though that's a pretty awkward thing to have in a game. Like, I know it's for state conveyance, and state conveyance is like one of the most important fucking things that you need to think about in game design. It's so important because state conveyance in game design is literally you telling the player what's happened. Yeah. And a game with no state conveyance is just, like, you don't know how much health you have. You don't know what you have or how much of it you that you have. So, right now, like, state conveyance fuck? is such a... I just, like, fell through that fucking thing, and I fucked up the entire thing up. <laughs> fucking <Okay>. bitch. <laughs> Yeah, there's 90% of game design. 90% of game design should be state conveyance, but yeah. unfortunately, a lot of game designers that are getting up in the world <clears> think <throat> that state conveyance is something that should be the last 10% of the game that's built in. No, it's supposed <laughs> to be 90. Oops, I fucking fell. <laughs> fucking bullshit! This is like, this is so annoying. Right it's now we have 14 games, people watching. It's like this one of these games that you have to fucking like know exactly where to go in order to fucking succeed. And at that moment I had no idea where the fuck was I supposed to go. Since it shows you just after a little bit where it's going to next. <laughs> there we go. Musty the bunny bear? Pepper's fine, <laughs> remember. <laughs> Is that a banana? Okay. What the fuck is that? That's a banana. Banana arms. <coughs> like, that was co okay. fucking confusing. Uh, cool Porn says, I would have uploaded cool more porn. ukulele. <laughs> I would have uploaded more ukulele videos and started a live stream uh, series on it. But thanks to Virgin Media Engineers being lazy bastards not fi finishing the job, I couldn't have so. What do you mean? Uh, cool porn, please uh, elaborate yeah, on that comment yeah, that you have yeah, just posted yeah. in the chat so that we may understand your concept and context of feelings and such. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, yeah, we care yeah. about your feelings, but we, yeah, we don't yeah, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we care about yeah, uh, yeah. LFC Gamer, I remember those Busty the Bunny days. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, do I. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alex is starting a conversation about the newest season of Samurai Jack. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen even an episode wow. of, uh, I don't watch, I, I haven't watched TV in a long time, I haven't watched shows in a long time. Um, Raina Watts says you need to go to, you need to go get the current available three skills from Trouser and then get some more pages and la leave the level, expand it and return. You can get pages from a lot of places. Wait, what? Sonner shot, slurp shot, body slam. Business ass. <laughs> business ass. I'll tell you who doesn't have a business ass browser. <clears throat> I'm not too sure which one should I get. Twit. You should buy all three. Everybody says you should buy all three. Uh, cool porn says I would have elaborated more if it wasn't for YouTube's um, character limit. You're gonna want to buy all three of them, dude. Oh, you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
chat's kind of low right now. We have 12 people watching, including yeah. us. So. <coughs> LFC Gamer says, I've watched Samurai Jack back in the day, but can never get into it. Yet I love um, the most of uh, Gendy Tartakovsky's other stuff. Like, I always have problems saving that guy's name. And I don't know why I feel so sleepy right now. Well, because you chillax, man. Just go with the bar. <clears throat> Mess with the best and die like the rest. Wait, what? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Alright, I just bought all three um, power ups. That was the longest fucking shop clean out I've ever seen in my life. In Breath of the Wild, I can clear out 10 items faster than this. Oh, there we go. That's the body slam. Like, I'm not too sure what the fuck are you supposed to do with these. Cool Porn says, uh, Virgin Media is supposed to be my new network provider, and the engineers have not finished installing it yet by feeding the brand new cables into my house. They just left it unfinished a week ago, and now I don't know where I started with my new network, pro where I stand with my new network provider until further notice. Alright, I'm supposed to take it down, like to open up all the other. Oh, there is three windows for this guy. <clears throat> what ho? What? Oh my god, the gigantic bananas over there. Where is she actually? I think she's supposed to be down here somewhere. No, I think it's a, like around this area or something. This giant banana thing. Those enemies are actually fucking breathing their asses off. From what I'm seeing. Okay, no, there's nothing. Alright, let's try to do some other puzzles. <clears throat> Also, another project that I actually backed up, it was, uh, Red Rogers. <clears throat> yeah, I actually want to see how that game is going to turn out. Where is this one? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. Alright, there we go. Ah, fuck! <laughs> fuck! No, 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 he detected me! Fucking bitch. Yeah, that robot detects you. You're supposed to do this puzzle without it detecting you. Which is gay as fuck. Oh, you're supposed to do it in order. No, 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 don't you detect me! Okay, the, that one, where is that one? Okay, this one. Wow, I'm so... My brain is so fucking slow. I swear to God. Like, this puzzle is so fucking easy that I, I fucked it up. Okay, the last one is right here. There we go. There we go. Woohoo! I actually managed to rescue this little uh Pagey. What a name for these things. <laughs> Pages. I thought it was like supposed to be moving these things out of the way or some shit. But I was wrong. Yeah. I was wrong, Legend 25. Wait, what? <laughs> like, there's a. This is just like the first world? And it feels like there's too much to do. I don't know why. 
Now I need to wait for oh, a little quill. Okay, there we go. So all these fucking quills. Quillin. Wait, what? <laughs> Quillin. Anything else that people are saying in the chat? Oh, quite a lot. Well, read them out. Yeah. Uh, it's mainly Cool Prawn, though. Cool Prawn. <laughs> <laughs> cool Prawn says it's pathetic and they're supposed to be one of the top rated Prawn band services in the UK. I should be getting up to 10, 100 megs download speed and uh, 6 meg upload. LFC Gamer responded with, I'm with Virgin Media and they're a bunch of wankers in my honest opinion. Look, hey, hey. In all honesty, it's the Virgin Media. They just need to learn how to put it in. <laughs> it's funny that you say that, because Cool Prone fucking. What the heck is Cool responded. Prone? It's Cool Porn! He, resp <laughs> he, responded, <laughs> he responded with this. At this point, I'm right to say, no wonder they're called Virgin Media, since they supposedly have engineer virgins working for them. <laughs> what? Patrick Milne says, Hi, Dingle Crash. Hola, hola. LFC Gamer says, my internet was never fast, even though it's supposed to be on the fastest speed. Yeah, our internet connection is sucks ass too. It's, well, I live in Israel, so that's understandable. <laughs> Your fucking internet is actually not bad. It's fucking shit, dude. I want to live stream fucking 1080p 60 frames per second so I can jizz all over the screen. You're, you know? you're asking for, like, <laughs> god internet. Like, I have god internet right now and I can't do that. I but that's mainly because America fucking throttles. <laughs> American America throttles your internet so they could save money, and they just passed a law so that you can't sue them for any of that. Guess yeah, fuck. So we can't we can't even sue them for lying. <laughs> fucking pro corporate laws. Well, uh, like most of these things are fucking gay as fuck. Like most of these companies, but where is that gigantic banana at? We now have 15 people watching. Shin Godzilla Gaming says this part is gonna lag. And uh, Alex asks, uh, "Are you gonna get Mario Kart 8 on the Switch?" Yes, I am. I will get Mario Kart 8 on the Switch. Um, I'm gonna have to pool money for it, but yes, I am going to get uh, Mario Kart on the Switch. I think this is supposed to be like one of Trousers' little sanctuaries or some shit like that, or not? I have no idea. <clears throat> but dude, where where is that fucking gigantic banana at? A banana. I'm struggling to find it. There's a gigantic banana character waiting for me somewhere, and I have no idea where is it. Do you not have a map? Mm, let's see. Echo. Resume view totals, return to hub... No... I don't think there's a map. This game doesn't have a map? What? What, Banjo-Kazooie didn't? You would think that a game in this day and age would have a map. But it doesn't. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, there's a little secret area. A little secret passage over here. LFC Gamer says, whenever there's a problem with Virgin Media, I have to phone them up to get some Pakistani who hardly speaks any English. <laughs> cool. Hey. cool Prun 105. Yeah. Uh, I might be canceling my contract with Virgin Media if they carry on like this. Dude, we have so many shitty internet provider companies that are fucking meh. They just fucking suck absolute dog shit. <clears throat> My internet providers just continue to fucking like, oh, you're gonna pay more for less internet. It's all good, dude. What? We got your back. Yeah. What do you mean more for less internet? Okay, so Jorge had um, he he had a. Uh, I don't think it was Jorge actually. No, it was me. My, I used to have AT&T U-verse, and uh, 
we got a package for it, right? That, that yeah. had a set. Uh, it had like 50 megs down, uh, four megs up. Okay. And like two years later, the entire thing was cut in half, and we are still paying the same price. What the fuck? Yeah. That is fucking and, retarded. What the fuck? And, and, oh, here it and is. And we can't. And we can't sue them. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? It looks like a gigantic bulb, like SpongeBob. What the fuck? I, wait, is it supposed to be a light bulb? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this is creepy. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> she actually has fucking feet. <laughs> Why didn't you get the PC version? Why did I? Uh, why didn't I get the PC version? Yeah. Uh -huh. Why would you get like the shittiest console port? It's, uh, first of all, Xbox One is not that bad. Yeah, I know. I just really, I have a strong bias against Microsoft. It seems because like it. Every time I've had an Xbox console, and I'm not one of those plebs that are like, Xbox sucks, PlayStation's better. No, I actually did buy a 360. I actually did buy a one, and I did play games on them. But every game that they had was also on PlayStation, and every exclusive that they had, the fucking one of them, it just it it it, 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 it wasn't in, it, it wasn't a console seller for me. Yeah. It's like I could have a fucking four hundred dollar box that plays Halo and that's it, or I could have a four hundred dollar box that plays all the fucking games that are coming out, and some of them that are already out. I guess it's also depending on taste in video games. I mean, there are a lot of games. Well, technically, there's a lot of games that are coming out to PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So. Xbox and PlayStation do not feel that exclusive. Yeah, but that's the thing. Xbox is just another fucking third-party box again. Like, the 360 was just a third-party box. The original Xbox had a lot of good games. They had a lot of good exclusives. Yeah, the OG Xbox was great. It had a lot of cool mixes of, of, of um, exclusives and third-party content. The Xbox 360... That was their cool. fucking top, the top iconic game of Xbox wasn't even an exclusive. It was fucking Call of Duty. Oh, and Halo 4. And that, Gears that, of War. That, yeah, Gears of War until like Gears of War stopped after Gears of War 3. And then like every. Okay, so that's two. Two fucking exclusives. Meanwhile, PlayStation have God of War, you got Infamous, you have Uncharted. You have a whole bunch of shit. But Uncharted just, uh, Uncharted just came to an end. <laughs> no, but uh, that's not the point, Danny. The point I'm trying to make is, like, why pay for a $400 box for one exclusive and all the other games when you could pay the same price for also, a different box wait, that wait, plays wait, wait. more exclusives? You know exclusives? what's funny? Because, like, also, whenever it comes to Xbox, um, they, they can give you, uh, what is it called... They have the gold membership, which you get, uh, you get free games, which that's amazing compared to Sony, the, to Sony, which they don't do that. Like, if you lose your uh, membership, you don't, you can't, you can't play the games. Yeah, but that's literally the one downside in the comparison between them on online things, because they're pretty much straightforward and the same. Um, but... Sony has that one small catch that Microsoft doesn't. But even then, that's like that's not a big deal breaker. The yeah. deal breaker uh the deal breaker is which one's going to have a lot more games and a lot more exclusives. PS4 has all those same fucking third-party games that you can get on Xbox One and an entire fucking jackpot of exclusive games. And meanwhile, Xbox One, you're not getting any hype until Halo 6. There's only been two there's only been two fucking events where the Xbox One has made headlines when it got released and when Halo 5 came out. That's it. 
Oh, what the fuck are you talking about? There was Sunset Overdrive and all that shit, what? Yeah, there was Sunset Overdrive that was the fucking the most amazing shit in the world. No, 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 no. Once again, Sunset Overdrive released around launch. Mind you, Xbox One was making headlines when it launched, as every console does. Sunset Overdrive was one of those headlines. And then the second headline was Halo 4, Halo 5. And yeah. since then, they haven't they, they haven't done shit. Gears 4, maybe, but it didn't make fucking, like, total pleb headlines. No, but when they announced the Rare Replay, people went nuts over that shit, too. Yeah, people went nuts over that, but not, not the general consensus. Like, you want the general consensus to go crazy, just unleash another Call of Duty. Yeah, that's not gonna happen after fucking them fucking up. How the Look, fuck do you use this puzzle? I, maybe I still haven't learned how to... Watch. They're gonna what? fucking release... They're gonna fucking release World at War Remastered. And it's just gonna be another fucking top dollar legacy edition buy out because but i feel like i don't know we're gonna bundle an old remastered good game with a shitty game and sell it for eighty dollars and re and uh, and fucking sell fifteen dollar dlc on top of that for that remastered this, that you could this... only get if you got the re legacy edition of infinite warfare and now they're gonna do it again watch they're gonna the, the new world war ii is gonna suck Balls. At this point, I'm just waiting for fucking E3 to see what's gonna happen because apparently fucking both PlayStation and Xbox are supposed to be having a lot of exclusives coming with their shit, so. Fucking, uh, I'm glad that Forza is on Windows 10. I don't have to buy a fucking Win uh, Xbox One to play that. Oh shit! <laughs> Just jumped on this little shit. Uh, Katz is asking, uh, is there, does the console version of this game also include the downloadable DLC? Uh, yeah, this is the downloadable, um, like, well, technically that was the, um, hmm? um, that was, I got it from the early release for, like, the, the day before the game was actually came out. <clears throat> What the fuck? Because I'm actually pretty glad to see uh, them bringing back Phantom Dust. That was one of my favorite games from the original Xbox. Yeah, that does remind me of a Despicable Me. <laughs> Whenever I'm looking at this every, fucking game. Every time I see that, dude. Yes, Despicable Me. That's fucking oh, eyebrows. Yeah. Like, holy shit. For a B, dude, that rendering is great, but that lighting is so bad. That's yeah. terrible lighting. That's such fucking terrible lighting. That's oh my god. Sometimes you can t you can tell that like th there was some bugs during like the animation of the en of the character. Cool porn says, "What's on? With, what's going on with the review channel? You and Liam have started. The last video on that channel was really interesting. Uh, uh, that's we're actually more video, and a lot of things are in the works. We're just coming up with a whole lot of ideas and topics, and we plan on doing live streams on that channel as well. So then we can interact with the people while having sometimes like live discussions." Or uh, gameplay videos or anything else like that. Yeah. <coughs> There's a lot that's gonna be coming up, but also we're also busy uh, doing some stuff like for myself that I'm actually. Uh, for those who did not know, I've started learning game design, and uh, one of the first models. Well, we modeled a few things, and we've also modeled the character, which we've actually modeled uh, Link from The Legend of Zelda, which was, uh, you know, pretty interesting. It was pretty fun to do. 
and I'm yeah, and not to mention I already I already told you guys that I have actually lost inspiration to make videos um, for some reason and um, <clears throat> right now I'm trying to kind of get back to you know recording let's plays and stuff like that what the fuck <clears throat> There's just a lot of things that are going on as well. I mean, um, like I really want my my biggest dream. Uh, one of my dreams is to actually make um, a living out of YouTube, which is gonna be a lot more fun. Cause then I can, I don't need to actually look for an actual job. Which is stressful as fuck. Like recently, I've been like at my current job for three years now, and it's pretty stressful, and I'm having a really bad time uh, with it. Oh, we're entering a little quiz. Oh, okay. The crumbling sea ship you call home. What flies from the mess? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea the answers to these things. <laughs> cool porn says uh, that makes the channel sound more exciting. I know you guys have lives and everything, so it's great to know you're doing the best possible things for it. What what is the channel called again? Uh, it was um. Wait. It's called Rotronic. That is the channel's name. Rotronic? No, no retro Retrotronic. There we go. Retrotronic, yeah, Retrotronic. Dude, I fucking suck ass. I cannot un answer all these fucking questions. <laughs> Just go with color is Ghost Wither. The Ghost Rider. Dude, I have no idea what the answers to these things. <laughs> and you have such little time to answer them. Okay. Oh, what a shame you are to have run out of lives. Yeah, I fucking ran out of lives. <laughs> oh, fucking bullshit. All right, you guys help me out. <laughs> Daniel the Explorer, help him out. <laughs> Which is the correct answer. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> that crumbling sea ship you call home. What flies from the mast? Pants, shorts, or skull and crossbones? <laughs> No. Uh. <laughs> well, you guys are not helping me! <laughs> I have no idea the answers for these things. How long has it taken for you to get this far? No. Yeah. No, what? I accidentally clicked! Did you even fucking ask the question? Oh my fucking god, I just clicked by accident. The picture, where was it taken? What? Uh. That was wrong? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Dude, I suck absolute dog shit at this. And that was when Danny realized he can't play video games. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, uh, like, I can't answer these fucking quizzes. Like, I fucking suck absolute ass at this. Yeah, I think I need to get back into creating videos on boop -boop -boop, but yeah. Well, yep. most of us do. Alright, <laughs> let's try one more time, otherwise I'm gonna fucking give up on this shit. Yeah, okay. I'll be right back, I'm gonna go wash my face. Right. Okay. The Knights of Hamelot, which one rides a pathetic horse? Uh -huh. 
Oh, a correct answer. <laughs> what? All right, let's see what the next question is. The hapless scientist Dr. Puzz, which brand of token does she seek? Meal token, molecule, poly, play coin. Oh my god, another one. Correct answer. <coughs> oh, <yeah. coughs> oh my god, there's so many questions to go for fuck's sake. The ridiculous fishball freak Dr. Puzz. What is her first transformation? No! <laughs> oh, Fuck. damn. <clears throat> the picture, where was it taken? No! Wrong again! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they fucking suck! The new boss, capital B, what color is his official statue? What? Gold. At least I got that right! <coughs> Yukopedia? <laughs> what? Oh my god, I got two points for this. Oh, me. The character, who is it? Huh? Oh, I already know who that is. I think it's... Yeah. What? No! What? No! Fuck! <laughs> Son of a bitch! You fucking... Oh my god. By the way, any new comments? Daniel raging. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude, this is bullshit. <laughs> uh, basically, it's LFC Gamer, it is Cool Pro, and it is. Rena talking about, uh. how. they can't. well. Cool Pro and LC Gamers talk, are talking about how they can't really make YouTube videos and stuff because they're busy working and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I can understand that perfectly. Okay, come on. <laughs> LFC Gamer says that duck sounds like Toad with a sore throat. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm actually about to... For cats and cool porn, I'm about to actually... Because they're talking about learning game design in school. I'm actually about to graduate with a degree in game design uh, very, very soon. And uh, I've already developed about four games so far. Um, and yeah, I do agree. They're not teaching us anything about the industry. They're just telling us how documentation works. And um, because of how school is set up in America, they barely have any time to like make us go through like a full-on authentic process of <laughs> working on a game. So it's yeah. not perfect, but I am uh, going to attend for my master's degree. I'm going to attend uh, the graduate school here for game design, and uh, they put you through fucking boot camp for game design. Yeah. And, uh, oh in the summer. And, it starts. It, no, I'm not taking that in the summer. I'm taking that next year. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, my my uh my family is like, yeah, go ahead. So, so you're just going for a break for a little bit, and then uh. Actually, I'm gonna be taking a break right after I graduate for uh for six months. Yeah. Oh my god. Fucking. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Come on. There's a tonic in this game that lets you play the game with an, with Nintendo 64-bit visuals. That is awesome. You should probably find that, Danny. Make this a true Let's Play. Huh? Wait, what? I didn't pay attention, what? 
Danny, what? there's a tonic in this game that lets you play in N64 graphics. Oh, yeah. So find it and make this a true let's play. What, in the 64 graphics? Yeah. yeah. Do it. Go find it. That's, like, priority number one. You fucking piece of... Oh, my God. Um... Your age kills me. I Kat was so I'm close still... to fucking winning this, for fuck's sake. Cat says I'm still uh, unsure either to take a major for graphics, game, web, or animation design. Um, any tips? So, if you're looking for animation, then you're going to be spending a lot of time in Maya or 3DS Max uh, trying to r rig something. <laughs> and you have to pay attention to every single detail of that animation for it to work, because uh, unlike design, where you could just have to make, where you just have to fucking make it look that way, in animation you have to like actually pay attention to all the details. When you import an animation into a game, it doesn't take up as much data, because it's just a series of uh, of moving a an already existing 3D object. It's just a series of inputs. <laughs> Um, if you're gonna go into game design, then uh, you'll have to learn how to work with graphics, how to work with engines, how to work with sound. You'll need to lo know a plethora of things, and any single one of them can get you a job in the in the industry. So right off the bat, I'd say game design because game design will teach you like a basketful of stuff. Like even if you get a game a game design degree, you can get a programming job at a company. Or you can get a graphics job with uh, with a studio animation project. Yeah. <clears throat> um. So it really game design really is just everything of different trades and throwing it into an engine and shitting out a game or something interactive. Animation is just uh you could do movies with it. You could do different kind of stuff, but. All in all, that seems a little bit less safe because you're not really teaching yourself more than that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, for graphics design, it could work. I mean, if you get a studio job or draw a lot, you can get to work as a comic artist or something like that and uh, work, your, work your way up. But for web design, you'd be handling databases. You're going to need to learn a lot of programming for web design. <clears throat> So, um, honestly, it, whatever you like, dude, do whatever you like. Because, honestly, if you take game design and all of a sudden you find out that you just hate it, then not only are you going into a super hard job to keep, you're going to hate that job. So. Come on, just two more or one more. Just get, get, the, get, uh, get a job that you like. Do something that you like so that work isn't work. Cool. You'll actually wake up in the morning being, like, fucking ecstatic about you're about to create something in the studio. Yeah, dude. And <clears throat> remember, this is coming from a, from a, from an, from a soon-to-be graduate of game design. And I've learned how to do animation. I've learned how to create websites. I've already made a couple of games. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, I, I'm not a programmer. I live more in the... Fuck! In the modeling, I live more in the modeling and level building and uh, concept. <coughs> so. Yeah, concept design. Concept design is really fun. Um, if you're a graphic designer, and you don't learn game design, that doesn't mean you can't get a job in game design. You could be a graphic designer for uh, for a lot of studios. Like you could just make concept art, and you can continue making uh, two dimensional art for other things that they'll import into the game. Like. A lot of people say that they like drawing in sprites or 2D, but they hate fucking doing stuff, anything else. Like, And I tell them, you know, if you work a lot in 2D art, why don't you do user interfacing? You can make images and use user interfacing or just like help people make 2D games. Dude, um, I, have, I have just one more life left and I'm nearly there. Can he do it? A lot of stuff that people forget is that a game is just a bunch of images being programmed to do things. Yeah, see, Jack Van Dribble's correct. No! Uh, he says, 
Jack Van Dribble says it, it depends on what you want to do, though. There's a lot of different aspects to animation, like character design, layout, storyboarding, and, and effects. Yeah, you're correct. Um, oh, my God. A lot of people don't think about that. Like, they don't even know that a job that they're that a degree they're getting is something that's general and that they have the choice to specify in a certain part of that project. So, um... I would do storyboards up ass. Yeah, storyboards. If you... If you want to learn about animation, um, Rick and Morty is actually one of the easiest places to get developmental animation from because they publish all of their storyboards and uh, they show off development processes in their featurettes. Like, they're very open with their creative processes. Um, And a lot of companies are as well. But if you want something to laugh at while you're doing it, Rick and Morty. Um... So the best thing that you could do is like, do what you think you're gonna like. Yeah, otherwise you'll regret it. Do do what you think you like, but then like find a specific thing to do that. Like, um, people want to get a job only in, like, let's say rigging a character. Well, okay, yeah, you could totally do that, but at the same time, like, you might want to learn something else in game design just in case it doesn't work out for you. Or, uh, like, like, I'm studying to become a director in, uh, game design. And, uh, I also want to produce, because produce, basically, producer basically keeps the, keeps the project going, going on task, right? But, um, I, I do want to direct, because I, I, I feel like I could bring in some new mechanics for games to be explored with. Like, right now, I'm a producer for, uh, for the college game that we're making where it's, uh, based around the mechanic of uh, dimensions and not the dimensions you're thinking like alternate dimension ooh another me Um, I'm talking about like two dimension three dimension four dimension so you know how like portal makes you think like portals well we're thinking like dimensions so to solve a puzzle you have to go to 2D form and solve it but then you go and like you know how in 2D games you you run up to like a wall and it's a wall you can't get past it so how you're like, how can I progress? I can't progress. You go into 3D mode and you find out that it's just a single pole and not a wall. So you go around it. That's the kind of game that I'm producing right now with my team. And uh, it's very clever to actually have that thought up. Um, and I hope to actually show it off at a convention later this this summer. All right, thank God I finally made it. <laughs> Whew, fucking shit. When you're writing a story, Reyna, make sure that your story is actually applicable because I've written a lot of stories and I've taken them to a creative writer and they said that they, they make no sense. Like, it'll make sense to you, but you gotta you gotta get somebody to actually like creatively think through it. Otherwise, you'll be writing at a sixth grade level. I really want to create, like, 2D games are, like, long gone, and, like, it's, they're hardly made, un- unless it's, like, indie, uh, you know, uh, developers that... Yeah, I, mean, I mean, I beg to differ. 2D <laughs> is still a strong suit. I mean, you got people like Strider. You got Strider Hear You Games. You have a Blaster Master that just came out, Binding of Isaac, which is fucking awesome, and um, a whole bunch of other 2D games, like Icy. Have you ever played that shit? Dude, Ice is a great 2D fighter. Holy shit. And, uh... What? And all that stuff. There's a lot of 2D games to go around, dude. Just because a console is super powerful and it can render 3D doesn't mean you have to leave 2D. Yeah. A lot of people are getting caught up in 3D, but 3D is not, like, the greatest thing in the world. I mean, the Nintendo Switch right now is a 2D powerhouse, and it has a lot of good shit. Oh my god, why is this like, so much like Crash Bandicoot or some shit, like, these bombs? Oh. Dude, are we having Broken Box Syndrome again? <laughs> wow. Broken Box uh, Syndrome, uh, what? Shit. What? What happened? It looked like it was lagging like crazy. Holy yeah, fuck. I know, it was lagging on my screen too. Dude. Oh, the fucking, uh, the stream itself or the console? I think in some parts it does. Uh, yeah, like... so there's performance issues that have been spoken about on the internet for uh, ukulele. 
Uh, actually, guys, I'm about to hit up Maya and start modeling some low poly shit because I need to like. We're making a uh, the environment filled with office desks and computers and shit, and I gotta render I gotta render cups and uh, pens. Oh, I found Rextro. Really, really, all I'm gonna be doing is modeling one pen and just texturing it in different colors because I can totally fucking do that. Yeah, Catch brings up a good point. Shovel Knight is one of the best uh, features of 2D right now in video games. Because um, it's just a really good fucking Castlevania type game. Shut up, Castlevania games. Dude, Somebody. fucking Sh Shovel Knight is great, dude. I hope to get it on the Switch soon because it's twenty five. It's twenty five dollars. They upped the price to five dollars more, but that's because they bundled it all with like all the Shovel Knight games. It's like we're gonna make the Shovel Knight game worth twenty five dollars, and instead of getting just the original Shovel Knight, we're gonna pack in the other three Shovel Knight uh, stories that we're putting in. It's called Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, and it just has all the Shovel Knight stuff in it. Yeah. Shovel Knight. I really want to write a good story, but I I'm can't. Not, I'm have not good at story writing. No, I think I think I could be good at story writing. It's just that my patience is just terrible. <coughs> like, um, there, 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 there was this, uh, there was this one RP that uh, I tried doing with a couple of friends back in like high school, and we tried to use it to build, to build a. Uh, to build on our, our our story development skills for characters in a creative writing class. Yeah. And uh, we actually took pretty good fucking strides on it. But now, like, I tried doing the same thing with somebody else, and I I fucking like now that I've reread it, it looks like half-assed pudding. <laughs> like I couldn't believe that shit. Fact. It's it's like these characters are so fucking monotonous and underdeveloped and like static. Oh, it's right to jump on over over her head. Oh, there we go. It's sometimes <laughs> oh, no, it's sometimes so they would just do something out of fucking character for like the entire time. Yeah. And the pacing is terrible. So. Yeah, but I mean, you do that, you go back and you change things about it. Yeah. By the way, any new comments? Um, we've actually had a fuck ton. Um, that's what I've been talking. Uh, like, like I guess it's just a conversation between like us talking about game design to the chat because they're talking about uh, what they've been doing. Tomcat XSL. Oh, dude, this is epic. I love this art. Fuck. You can p pull off some Mario shit in here. You you can actually shoot fucking like uh, little ice thingies. Uh, cool porn says I could j I can piss easily afford a Nintendo Switch. Just getting it at the mo I'm just getting it get it at the most suitable time. Uh, I understand that. Dan is not on fire fan. Says, what? I asked my mom if by any chance I was adopted. She replied, hilarious. Why would we choose you? <laughs> wow. That's, that's fucking dark. Holy shit. <laughs> that is so fucked up. I don't know who Tomcat XSL <laughs> is, but he said, Joey, are you going to let me play with your big Yuka again? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? GTA 3. <laughs> oh. Am I gonna be able to blow it to Jets again? Your big chance. Joey! Am I gonna be able to play with Big Jets again? That's when Victor was cool. Whenever he said that he would buy uh insane trilogy. <laughs> Back when Victor was actually cool. You do realize Victor's in the chat, right? Hi, Victor, you're gay. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hi, Victor. Oh, I don't understand what this bitch is about. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, this little annoying robot thing. I hear a pagey somewhere over here. Somewhere up top, probably. Yeah, it's like stuck somewhere. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I have to unlock that fucking thing. It's always nice to write stories and then go and have somebody actually check over things for you and tell you, you know, what's wrong so you can go back and fix errors. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go to, into this ice area now, which is, I guess, the second world. I, I, the thing is, like, I, I like modeling whenever it comes to video games, like creating video games. Uh, whenever I created Link and stuff, it's pretty challenging, it's pretty, it's pretty tough. But the more you try and do these things, the, the more interesting it gets. Because you always come across a new challenge, a new, like, uh, thing that you'll be, um, you know, um... The tool model and stuff. Such as, uh, like whenever I modeled Link, which was my very first model, I had a lot of fun and it one it made me wanna actually um want to actually record I mean model Link. I mean not Link, uh model uh Crash Bandicoot. Which I am currently trying to model Crash Bandicoot, even though it's really fucking tough. Like, I mean, it's really fucking tough. Uh, Dan is not on fire, fan says. Even people who are good for nothing have a capacity to bring a smile to your face. For instance, when you push them down the stairs. <laughs> really? Fuck, oh, man. This guy. Why would you push somebody down the stairs? What the fuck? This guy is good. He's evil. He's evil good. And then everybody's talking about writing. Those eyes! I like how those eyes just randomly take control of everything. Oh look, it's a uh, Sir Faggot a lot. <laughs> hey, I, I used to do all that stuff. I used to do uh, poetry and uh, sing in choir and a whole lot of shit. But I used cool, to call you on a cell phone. I went to college, I went for art classes and... I found out college is just like high school, except for people being more uppity. That's well, it. I mean, there's not enough skilled people to address the amount of unskilled people. Yeah. In Britain, they still have apprenticeships. In America, it's like you either know it or you're out on the street. Yeah, it's that bad right now. Um, cool Pro actually said that he, he's going to try and get an apprenticeship because uh, that's actually a good thing. A lot of people in America, 90% don't don't do that. Dude, I'm actually willing. I'm actually willing to uh, get a vacation somewhere. I was thinking about the UK, but um. Now you're thinking Florida. Oh no. No, I mean I want to move. Uh, I, I really want to move out to the US, but like, you know, it's expensive of course and stuff so I don't think I really can I mean not expensive I cannot get a visa <clears throat> and even I really want to get a visa dude if, if somebody was like I don't even want to waste my money on a fucking hotel if I wanted to like go on a vacation and somebody would let me sleep at their house it would be awesome like so I can uh, travel with not without wasting money on a shitty hotel. And I know that I mean, the, in the UK the hotels are pretty shit. I mean what you can do is like uh I don't know, a lot of us are on the East Coast. So uh like if you come to the East Coast you got me, Jorge, Ricky, and Mouse, and uh Spiral Ham. And then you have uh in the West Coast, you got Leon and Noah, and uh, Victory if he decides to Dude, get off his badass. Dude, this underwater looks so beautiful. Your underwater looks. I'm playing. Wait, wait, what? 
Ouch, I get fucking hit by those things. You can't... Uh, I wouldn't tell Danny to move to Georgia, Alex. Do you know how racist Georgia is? The cheapest you could move to is Georgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, while it is, while it can be the cheapest, dude, Danny's gonna get looked at like he's a fucking bomber. <laughs> They're racist as fuck there, dude. What's a fucking bomber? What the f it's like everybody thinks that the, so somebody from Israel would be a fucking bomber. <laughs> this is so fucking retarded. The stereotypes. And that's stupid as fuck. That's stupid as fuck too because politically, America will just unquestioningly fucking support Israel in whatever they do, no matter what. <laughs> Pretty much. So double standard. <clears throat> A man walks stupid. into a library and checks out a, bo a book on suicide. He walks out and the librarian turns, then turns to her work associate and says, he's not bringing that book back. <laughs> and this guy posted it twice, so he's dying for me to read it in the call. Hello. Cool porn wants you to go to Liverpool and uh, meet with him and make videos in the UK. Dude, if you're willing for me to sleep over at your place. <laughs> Americans, from what I found over the years, are not exactly the most open minded, accepting of people. Um, no, Some they're not. Not all Americans. <clears throat> Be I mean, because the open minded people. They. I, 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 I'm trying to fucking think of a scenario because like a lot of people in the United States are just ignorant in the fact that they haven't experienced something therefore they're initially afraid of it and because of that slight ignorant fear they don't want to deal with shit so they try to hate on it and keep it away no I fell fucking gay uh stream my dead just reset yeah, just reset. Probably there's a little bug. Yeah. If the stream is not fucking moving for them, then they can't hear us. I'm gonna type in the chat. LC Gamer already put refresh. Yeah. Refresh. Refresh. Don't do it. Wait, wait. Oh, re refresh, please. Oh, it's working now. Okay, so it's working. It's no, working no, 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 you little tit wank. Fucking fell. Why <laughs> uh, check out the channels? Because if Leon, we don't, problem will get you. Leon, what is this? Press start to play one or play, press start to play? Zero one. Uh, press zero start one. to play one, yeah. Yep, there's no way I'm making it. <laughs> it was too late. <laughs> way you were too never late. Meant, you were never meant to make it, Danny. You Fuck were not you, meant man. for greatness. Uh, <laughs> Fuck you, Goomba. You were never meant another to make it. Another symmetry <laughs> quote. You're not meant for greatness. You were never meant for this life, Genji. Oh, but look at you, Hanzo. You're a faggot weeble. <laughs> Do you like to watch Yowie? Wait, what? You like to watch... <laughs> you like to watch Yowie. Legend 25. <laughs> I bet you watch oh, Wrong 20... I bet you watch your rock... <laughs> wrong oh, Boku no Pico! <laughs> Boku no Pico! <laughs> I bet you... I bet that you, that you watch a lot of Yowie. Don't you, Hansel? Oh my god. I saw... A fucking gif of what's his name? Uh, like fucking Genji sitting on Reinhardt's dick while Hanzo is jerking him off. <laughs> You're a faggot. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm just dying. 
<laughs> just like fucking Genji just says the most hurtful thing to Hanzo. Like, you are a closet fairy brother. How did you get super pissed off? <laughs> Hanzo is a closet furry, what the fuck? Just start shooting at everything. I'm never playing Hanzo now, says Cats. <laughs> or Genji. <laughs> Somebody made an hour long documentary on why Genji is the most fucking beloved character in Overwatch. Holy shit. And their their literal argument was because Genji made them feel like they're the person that they never could be. Because he is a true honorable sai a samurai and ninja from Japan that speaks in English and is a weeaboo. <laughs> That's their fucking argument. They made an entire hour-long documentary a documentary documentary about why Genji is their favorite fucking character in Overwatch and why he's the best character in Again, Overwatch bitch. In and it's because he, he makes a weeaboo otaku feel at home in the character what? throwing ninja stars being a cyborg ninja using a dragon sword and being edgy as fuck <laughs> and the, the, the stream is down. Huh? It's still going for me. It's, it's, it's probably stopped. lagging. Ah, fuck! Yeah, it did stop. Just ah, stopped. fuck! Holy fuck. It should be going back in a minute. Yeah. I'm refreshing it. Don't worry about it. Should be. It should be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought imagine, this was... ha imagine having a tit wink with 1996 Tomb Raider's Lara Croft. Her triangular boobs will cut your dick off. <laughs> First of all, no, her triangular boobs would stab both sides of your pelvis, <laughs> then cut your dick off. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Some weird conversations going on on a fucking ukulele live stream. <laughs> Yeah, we're not kid friendly, are we? <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> you know, Dude, this is this is what we used to play back when when we when we were younger. So technically, we're just old fucks that grew up with this type of video games, now playing it like playing a spiritual successor to something that was was fucking epic at the time. Though I really wish platformers would return uh, big. You wish platformers would make a bigger comeback, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I want the same thing, but it's just like, I don't, I don't feel like that's really going to happen anytime soon. Actually, uh, platformers are, are going to be great this year. <clears throat> Last year, platformers were awesome, too. Yeah, but they're not making a really big boom, like a big ass comeback. It's just like yo, they're there, but yeah, it's not anything too big. Oh, really? That's the statue. This shitty statue is the fucking capital B's, fucking. Crappy we currently thing. have uh, 13 people watching right now. This is so actually pretty good. We're I mean. fluctuating around the mid tens. I mean, it's better than nothing, really. I'm happy with the amount of viewers that we have. Like I really am. What the fuck do I shoot at that? I don't even know how do you aim at that fucking top because I need to shoot at the top. <clears throat> I 
I love how the game, the, this area looks. It looks so beautiful. Just look at this. I think it, I think it looks like clay, but go on. Clay? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking calm down. Here we go. Think a game in a show. Would Did like you just call me a horny goat? What? What? Goat. No, what? I heard a horny goat. <laughs> no. Cat, Cat says it's because of all the thirteen edgy, uh, edgy thirteen-year-olds that we can't have any decent reviewed platform or uh, platformers of the new era. LFC gamer says FIFA this and COD that. So Sonic Forces. Uh. Do you know that clicking the left stick is to aim, Danny? Hmm? Click the left stick. Oh, okay. I did, had no idea that that's how it works. And just like that, this game is terrible. <laughs> oh, shit, I missed. I fired and I missed, and then I farted again and I missed. Uh, what? I really want them to make a fucking backstory for Widowmaker. I really want to see how she was like before Talon. Oh, they've already uh, they've already explained that a little bit anyway. Not like full detail. Yay! Huzzah! She was like a side sniper of uh, Overwatch, and then she like her husband was awesome to her, but then she got taken by Talon. Because her husband was too cool to be caught. <laughs> and they partially reprogrammed her and made her kill her husband and then completely reprogrammed her like she's Bastion or some shit. What the fuck? Dude, the human brain can be reprogrammed easily. It can be fucking just like they can brainwash, but not reprogram. What the fuck? That's what brainwashing is. No. Mm hmm? Yeah, that's two different things. Reprogramming something and brainwashing. This is two different things because then you can you can cure what's bad. I mean, you can cure brainwashing and reprogramming. You just have to re-reprogram <laughs> it. It's a finite substance, Danny. Don't think too hard about it. Your brain might explode. You might burn your dick <coughs> off. Wait, what? <laughs> Fuck! I was too late for this thing. And I fucked up. God damn it. Okay, so spinning kinda... gives you back all of your stamina. <coughs> I kind of hate the fact that like that it's the, this game works so uh, uh, like uh, around stamina. I'm not too sure. Banjo Kazooie did work around stamina. Oh, it's the banana now. Really? That thing did not help. I thought it was gonna help in some way. Oh, that little bish. Really? Those eyes fucking attack you. I'm not too sure how the fuck do you even open this fucking crate. There we go. Oh shit, I fell. <laughs> I fucked myself over. Oh, I need some butterflies. And badly. If there is some. <laughs> Those eyes just like get equipped to some of, to all of these things. And they just fucking destroy you. <laughs> oh, there's a little secret passage over here. That I probably came across and forgot. Dude, to let's play this game, it would be a lot of work. <laughs> and I mean a lot of work. And there are those bees that try to kill me.
What's over there? They're talking about uh, types of games going out of date and how shooters, like how FPS and uh, sports games are those that are highly commercialized and oh, everybody thinks died, that those yeah. are the. Everybody thinks that those are like the only things and that um, platformers are out of date. It's pretty much how it is now. You look at it back then, it was all about platformers and shit. And then we moved on up and it was just like, okay, shooters and sports games. But and, then you know, shooters became... Right now. But shooters has always been a thing. Where they... I know, but they weren't really good like that for a while. It was all it was mainly about platformers back then. Yeah. It wasn't really about shooters like that. Yeah. <clears throat> it's been years for shooters to be as good as they are today. Welcome. Yeah, ki kids think that fantasy is, like, shit now. They just want some more violence and gore. And fuck kids. Well, fuck today's kids. <laughs> nah, dude. You know, you know what I want? I, I want to fucking, uh... I want to make a game where it takes place in a neotopian society, and uh, so I do want to have like one of those, some of those exaggerated concepts in there. But I want to make a good adventure game <clears throat> in in that type of uh, in that type of feel, where it's just a neotopian society. You have like lit up buildings and skylines and shit like that, and it's a nice it's a nice open worlder. Oh, this is cool. You can actually fucking smash those things. What I really don't like right well, right now, for the past, like, fucking few years, has been fucking reviewers. I, I, I hate that shit. They can't. I hate give fucking a, reviewers. I just they cannot, hate their. They cannot give an honest review worth shit. Like, even if. They, even if you don't like the game yourself, give a fucking honest review. A review is not just your opinion, and I feel like they get that wrong nowadays, and they just fucking fling their own shit out there. Or, you know, we'll play five minutes of the fucking game, and, oh man, that game sucks. And it seems like every fucking reviewer does it. It's so fucking retarded. Yeah, a lot of reviewers talk shit about games like that, and it's like, fucking, what's the point of doing a review? Or if all you're going to do is just bash on the fucking game? That's what, and it's just like it's the same thing with fucking Matt Hazard. Victor was all like. Well, I don't know about this game because I looked up the reviews for it and he was all like, oh man, it got a fucking 5 out of 10. No, this game's gonna be bad. I said, fuck the reviews, Victor. Get the game. No, nah, man, the game is... Uh, get the game. Bro, that Bruh, game was so fucking fun. I disagree with Breath of the Wild getting straight up 10s across the board. Oh, you know they suck that dick. They suck the dick. Yeah. <laughs> they suck the dick. <laughs> I mean, like, I would have been okay if it had, like, five 10 out of 10 reviews, but it got over 50. <laughs> also, before Danny answers that question, IGN is a piece of shit. So, Danny, shit. what do you think yeah. of IGN? Shit. <laughs> IGN is a piece of shit. shit. <laughs> Katz asked, hey, Daniel, what's your opinion on IGN? It's shit. I don't know why, but everything about this game is so fucking adorable. 
All of these designs are fucking adorable as hell. Oh shit. Those fucking things fucking nearly destroyed How me. Much? How much was this game? I don't remember, but I backed this project for like 400 bucks or something. I think it's twenty nine ninety nine, isn't it? Uh, I think so. Backed four hundred dollars into ukulele. Yeah, I'm he one of the people who backed this project when when it was first out. You must have a lot of income. Back then, I did. <laughs> Fucking four hundred dollars, Jesus Christ! Yeah, I supported this uh, fucking thing. <laughs> I was gonna say, when you support something you're passionate about, bro, it will work. I think my name is actually in the, uh, credits. I'm also going to receive an N64 cartridge of this. Well, not exactly an N64 cartridge, but... It's pretty much a cartridge for the game. Oh, you can't ride that ice, like, all the way up to that fucking ice. Hey, what's Scare. the name that you gave them for the credits? Daniel Fischler. Alright, hold on. Let me look for it. I wonder what's going on if you try and hit those fucking... Uh... Those thingies. I'm not too sure it does anything. Yeah, I don't think it does anything. I think you have to do something else in order to destroy those beehives. <clears throat> but dude, this game overall is fucking beautiful as fuck. Dude, dude, do you know how many Dales are in this? How many who? Dale. Dale. How many Dale? Dales. Just a lot of Dale. So I wanted to actually, I whenever I was thinking about it, to put something like the Vina Gem 86 or some shit like that in the credits. <laughs> you should have made a, like, a second team backing and should have put Davina Shirley. Davina <laughs> Shirley? Oh, fuck. Alright, I've reached the Dans. Dan the Man Connor, Dan the Man Gilmore. <laughs> Dan Topcorn. Daniel Malone. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. There's a lot of Dan's, but no Daniel. Damn, they didn't put you in a Daniel. Look more or more carefully. Oh, no, hold on. You didn't put, like, a middle name, did you? No, it's just Daniel Fischler. I'm looking. There's a lot of Daniel insert middle name or nickname, and then last name. Mm -hmm. Daniel slash Cron. Gotcha. <laughs> that fuck? makes total fucking sense. Yay! Yep, there it is. Daniel Fischler. Yep. <laughs> oh, she is. I just Actually, wait, no, I'm reading I'm reading this wrong. Daniel Fisher and Daniel Fisher. There's no Daniel Fischler. It must be there. <laughs> it's not there. I'm in your oh, section. Oh god, and now you guys are talking about music. Ooh boy. Okay. I've had it. Yeah. Music so is a lot of fun. Let, let me dive into this one real fast, I guess. Music. I feel like it's rushed, and new albums come out every three months, which is purity shit. They don't take the time and effort to fucking craft something that will really, really be an amazing album and have lots of good songs on it. Instead, you know 
they try to make club bangers and everything else like that to get a quick fucking buck, and it sucks. Pretty much. I'm not saying all of them, but most of them. You know who does? Daft Punk. They fucking work for years to get the best music. It's so good. Ah, oh, dude, Daft Punk is like... What the fuck? That thing is like, uh, what? Uh. It makes me just, uh. uh. Dude, there's just so many things to do. You have to take your time when you're, whenever you're doing things in here, in order to even progress in this game. Yeah, you guys can subscribe to uh, Retrotronic because there, there's there's a lot of topics we're gonna be talking about, and I know with some of them the comment sections are gonna be blowing up and differences of opinion and all, but you know there, there's some stuff that needs to be said about some things. Really? Did they let li literally reference God of War? This na the name of this thing that I'm talking to is Kratos. <laughs> yeah, no, Cardos. Sorry. Let's see. This is gonna be fun. <coughs> I'm trying to find a list of the uh, <coughs> credits. Because I looked at the entire thing and every Daniel Fisher is just Daniel Fisher and not Fischler. Uh, credits. Oh, Backers. Shit. Oh my god, how do you even collect these things? Got hit, it just got hit by those fucking things. Wait, how many ring? How many of those gems? Hey, we need to get a hundred pages. I mean, <clears throat> oh, we need to get around a hundred gems. How many gems you got right now? Uh, I, I think you lose some if you get hit or some shit. Mm. You had 98 before the end, but then you got hit once and then probably knocked the rest of them out. Yeah, the, those those things like if you get hit by something, it's taking you your gems away, which sucks ass. Dude, I won't have enough. Shit. Oh, shit. What? Ah! Shit. Are you serious? Wow, this is tough. <laughs> this yeah, is really fucking tough. Yes. The toughest shit in the world. Ah, oh, I nearly got the fucking golden gem, but failed. 
No, whoa, whoa, whoa. It just went super fucking fast. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, you must be shitting me. I need to tell Sam to look at this. Like what? Well, there's new videos for this Coo drone drone that I told him uh, we should buy, and he's totally in for it. But he wanted to see it in action. Ah, uh, gay as fuck. I only got 90. <laughs> Dude, like, it's gonna take me a while to actually learn this fucking game. Alright, no, I don't wanna do this again. Fuck that shit. <laughs> really fuck that shit. Alright, let's go back to the uh, stream and see what's up. Hmm. Oh, so this? Oh fuck, are you serious? In trouble with the trolley, eh? I don't even have the the jump I need for this. Cause there's another power up. Right now. There's a power up that I need to get for this, but yeah. Um, by the way, folks, uh, do you guys want to actually, uh, want me to live stream a little bit of Overwatch's new event? Uh, Uprising? Um, Cool Pro says so fucking pissed off right now. Apparently Virgin cancelled on him. Oh. No, I'm sorry, I think they cancelled, I think they cancelled on Virgin. Oh, okay. <clears throat> They're uh, currently talking about the Spyro 2 trolley mission. The trolley mission. In this level, Trouser sells the standing jump and the stronger tongue skills. So you might want to grab those. I have no idea where that is. You gotta go find Trouser. Oh shit. Just look for the trouser. Can you run in this game? <laughs> no, I like sprint like in Call of Duty or some shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we live in a day and age where games are like ha they have two, oh, they have two speed of movement settings. Right. It's 2017, Daniel. <laughs> we, you have a choice in how fast you want to go. You can either go at normal or you can go at fast. I mean, trousers right here, but like, he's not gonna sell me that. Yeah. Like, I oh. already have the. Oh wait, no, it does have that. Fuck Virgin Media instead. Actually, finishing your job. Actually, finish your job, cunts. Instead of uh, being backstabbers. <clears throat> this place reminds me of Borderlands. Look, there's Trouser. Oh, I think. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, Where did you get that from? Retap? Huh? What about Orisa? <laughs> Come back soon, I'll fuck off. Wait, what? <laughs> I never understood what the fuck is this power up of Yuka. The way he's swimming, it looks so fucking funny. It looks like he's just splashing the fucking water rather than swimming. <laughs> The water looks beautiful, even though, like, the graphics on the water look weird. Oh, 
I love that. I don't know why, but the, the way the music sounds, it reminds me of Gex for some reason. No wonder why I get so many references. This game reminds me of fucking Gex. <laughs> Even the music is so similar to Gex. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Alright, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> oh shit. Yay, I opened up the fucking box. Wait, what? It pushed me off all the way over here? Fucking gay, motherfucker! <laughs> Sound like Victor. Boing. No, 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 you little shit. Let fucking son of a bitch push me off again. <laughs> push off. Wait, what? There we go. Managed to get a pagey. Weesh! Oh shit, I fell. <laughs> I think I hit the ground too hard. <laughs> that was shite. I, I don't understand, what's the triangle? Like, what's this ability for? Slapping down. Oh, there's a fucking ghost that you need to get, but I have no idea how to get that ghost yet. It's gonna take me a while to learn how to get all these things. The legs do a man. <coughs> what you gotta do? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, let's see. What else is there out here? Let's see, maybe there's some stuff up here that I've seen. Oh, there's a little door right here. Let's try and see what's over there. Any new comments, by the way? Yeah, uh, it's mainly just cool prone. Fucking just. Killing himself over a virgin. Yeah. That yeah. sounded so fucking wrong. Cool. And uh, Reyna talking about talk talk. Didn't you actually collect quills in Banjo Kazooie too? Hey, holy shit. Cause I'm pretty sure you do. Banjo Kahuki. <laughs> Banjo Duhiki. Dude, these power ups make him look so fucking awesome. Like, uh, the rest of the, like, his stuff are, like, glowing or some shit. Man, I, want, I, I do. I want to see more, uh, platforming games. I want to see more fucking fighting games and fucking beat-em-ups and side-scrollers and all that shit. Yeah, that would be epic. Oh, you can climb up there. 
Uh, I think you have to go around here in order to do this. <clears throat> I think, at least. Let's see, are we back to where we went to? Oh, it just took us back here. Let's go back. And I'm still waiting for a Soul Calibur 6, because oh my fucking god. I have heard nothing on Soul Calibur 6. And I'm just fucking tired of it, I'm waiting. Why? Come on, please. I've been waiting years for this. Oh my god, Danny, Dan is not on fire, fan is back. Wow, honey, I never thought our son would go that far. Yeah, the catapult is really amazing. Go get our daughter. What? <laughs> Great. Well, let's try this shit then. Less shooters would be very welcome and less bigoted drivel. Boy, I wish just about everything can have something like that. I don't understand why shooters are such a high priority for gamers. They're not. <laughs> That's the point. You know how many games have been coming out to fucking go away from shooters? But Call of Duty still continues to, meet, to make sales records. Oh, so that was the thing for it. Thought you had to burn these things or some shit, but apparently not. Apparently th it was some puzzle you had to solve or some shit. Uh-oh. Oh, it had to be just like this. Okay. You have to do it. You yeah. might do it. Oh my god, the sound effects even sound adorable. We need Soul Calibur fucking six already. We need Soul Calibur nan. Nan. You Reven ten nan. Like I was so hyped for it and stuff, and it was just like, yeah, Soul Calibur anniversary. They gotta talk about a Soul Calibur six. Let's go. Do you know how hype I am? And they were all like, you want to see it? Yeah, twentieth anniversary. Yeah, all these video games that we made. Fuck yeah! Well, here's a Puchinko machine. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck you, Puchinko so machines. Dude, E3 for fucking Namco Bandai is gonna be Soul Calibur 6. I don't even think so. I think they're waiting on Tekken 7 to come out and make sales. And then somewhere in like fucking probably October or even December, they'll be like, oh, hey, here's a little fucking logo for Soul Calibur 6. And it's just like, mm. uh, just unleash all the fucking Jesus. <laughs> I got 200 quills. Cool. Not right now. <clears throat> Crystalline Cave. Okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Conway 20. Did I just screw it all up? Or that fucking ventilator, ventilating bitch shit thing? They take pachinko machines up their ass. <laughs> That's what I feel like they're doing with the Pachinko machine and Tekken <clears throat> 7. They, they're trying to build up enough money so they can actually just make the next Soul Calibur game. But still, like, why the fuck do we have to wait so long? Like, uh, I understand, but damn. And I swear I'm gonna get pissed off if the next thing they say is, no, we're not focused on Soul Calibur 6. You know what we're focused on? My dick. Uh. <laughs> Tech and cross Street Fighter, and then I'm just gonna fucking throw over a goddamn table and walk away. <laughs> Wasn't there supposed to be one of those? Like, what? What's the difference between the two? One would be a Street Fighter style game, yeah, and the other one would be. Oh, yep. 
That's a, that's a <laughs> shitty game. Why did why didn't they just put the two modes together? Like why didn't they just make a Street Fighter cross Tekken, and then you would have like a Tekken mode or a Street Fighter mode? Why did they have to make two separate games? It's a fighting game. You can put in all the modes you want. Like, it's not like fucking Uncharted where you can only have like three modes. And just have it like really, really beefed. I mean, it's just like, dude, I'm so fucking hyped for fucking this weapon fighter named Soul Calibur. It's gonna be great. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah, we made this Soul Calibur thing. Yeah. And it's not Soul Calibur 6. Okay, yeah. And it's a dance dance revolution thing of it. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> dance Goodbye. dance revolution. Fuck all these fucking dance dance revolution games or some shit. Bruh. Dance I can't dance say revolution was. Fun. Dance dance revolution was great. But Man. it's dance, it's just <clears throat> dance that ruined it. Just dance ruined it all. Just dance is cool, but oh, uh, you remember the shitty Dance Central? Yeah. Uh, those, those, that was the shit. That that was crap. Was fuck. That is true. Yes, Puchinko machines are very, very popular in Japan. I feel so fucking tired right now. I don't know why. Maybe you're bored. I don't know. <laughs> Bruh, it's like... <sighs> the thing is, did you even get enough sleep yesterday? I mean, yeah, I did. I, w I woke up at fucking 11, for Christ's sake. Heck, even Mia Khalifa sucks less cock in one month than Konami makes pachinko machines in one week. <laughs> one of those things again and then go back there because I'm not too sure if th this is what I need to do or not I'm not too sure if I'm gonna have it by the time I'm getting there <laughs> yeah this thing runs out pretty fast I don't even know how the fuck are you supposed to make it Oh yeah, you can't go to that area yet. Since it's super cold out there. And I think you have to do something in order to warm it up or some shit. Also, in order to get up here, I have no idea what the fuck are you supposed to do. I don't know. Oh shit. Like, I seriously have absolutely no idea what the fuck am I supposed to do in order to get there. In order to rescue to this this little faggot right here. Oh. Like I have absolutely no idea how to do it. Let's talk to this fucking banana thing. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna recommend everybody something. If you guys haven't, watch the Netflix series of the series of unfortunate events. It is really good. It's really weird. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I have to unlock the 64-bit one. But I, I don't have it unlocked yet. Like this this game is a little confusing. There's a lot to learn in order to even play this. Like if I were to do this live stream later, but after learning how this game works, like I, I, I would have done it, but like I didn't play it that much. To be honest, this is the first live stream where I've actually uh, 
done something longer than just playing the game regularly. Yeah. But either way, guys, I think I'm actually gonna call it a, uh, a finisher because um, I want to take a, a break. Finisher. I don't. I don't even know how to word <laughs> it. Whatever. But um, I've had uh, quite a lot of fun, you know, live streaming this game. And um, uh, I hope to do a lot more live streams like this. And um, I mean, for the very first live stream in a while, this was actually pretty nice uh, to do. And I really enjoyed it. So, um, until next time, I want to say thank you for those who joined us in the live stream. If you're a new p person that's watching this, um, feel free to subscribe, check my Facebook, there's a Twitter account, all the things you, uh, you want to see, there, it's in the description. And I will, I might do a second part to this, uh, live stream, maybe. Maybe yes, maybe not. I don't know. Will all depend. But once again, thanks you, all, thank you all for watching this, and I shall see you in the next video slash live stream. So, goodbye. Bye bye.